Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So, uh, you know, after a very long time, I'm uploading a video. And uh, in this video, I would like to tell you that I have uh, got an internship opportunity in Red Hat. So it's a six months opportunity. And I would be like, uh, I'll be telling you about how I got the opportunity and what was the process and uh, like, what can you expect if you're going to be, uh, you know, appearing for the tests and interviews. I cannot uh, share the exact information, but I would share some, uh, you know, some things really close to whatever I experienced. And this entire video is my own personal experience. So don't take this as the only reference. You can ask other people also who have got internship and they get a better idea as to how you can prepare. So, you know, it's a six months internship. All right. And I'm very happy that I've received it. Red Hat is a really cool company and it does a lot of, uh, uh, you know, it, it works on new technologies. So first of all, uh, let us uh, you know see what is uh, red hat doing like it is like whenever anybody uh, thinks about red hat it's like the first things that come to mind is like it's open source and uh, linux distribution because there is red hat enterprise linux so red hat is actually uh, you know world's uh, like you can say almost like the largest open source uh, company uh, you know and uh, there are you know the world is shifting towards open source so a lot of open source communities are contributing to stable and innovative uh, technologies and uh, it, it is able to help in uh, you know uh, produce uh, secure softwares so red hat has some products like jboss ansible ceph openshift it works on cloud technologies so it's a really cool company and i'm really excited to be working there and i would like to enhance my skill set and give the best i can so this was about uh, red hat okay so this logo is very famous though and uh, location is B bengaluru only so bengaluru there is a office and there are other offices also i think in uh, delhi pune also it is there so if you are from those places maybe you can apply i think pune it is there i'm not sure about delhi though so yeah, so it was software engineering internship and opportunity I got in uh, LinkedIn. There was a LinkedIn post by a, a person uh, working in uh, Red Hat. So he told that uh, send your resumes and then uh, I sent my resume over there. I actually applied on the job portal also. But I'm not sure where uh, exactly I got the opportunity. I gave my resume in both places. I filled the form and then after I think one month, a Google uh, Drive, uh, um, this one, uh, Google Sheet was sent. So I had to fill that. And then I got the opportunity to write the online assessment. So I think after one and a half, two months of, uh, you know, uh, uh, sending my resume and filling the form, I got the opportunity. So I, they shortlisted my resume after that. And uh, so first uh, round was the online assessment round. So questions on, you know, like aptitude, uh, DSA fundamentals, CS fundamentals, all these were asked. And then two coding questions were there. One was uh, greedy plus heap. Okay, you have to identify. If you have done such kind of a problem, then okay. If you have not done these concepts, then it will be very hard. You can't figure it out in the interview. And another was greedy plus maths and uh, matrix also. Second problem was slightly tricky. Uh, you know, and uh, like concepts of tree and graph and all was in these MCQ DSA fundamentals. So actually you needed to know everything. It is not that uh, greedy will always be easy. Actually, the second question was slightly tricky and uh, in greedy problems, you really have to like work it out. For example, in tree or uh, graph, for example, topological sorting, if some question comes on topological sorting and you don't know topological, then obviously you cannot solve it. But greedy, it is not like that. You really have to apply your brain sometimes and maybe you can actually solve the entire problem so i was able to solve all the pro i mean both the problems and uh, in one mcq question i didn't know actually uh, one mcq i think it was on permutation combination i didn't know exactly how to do but apart from that i think everything else was easy for me and uh, the platform was a hacker rank and the test I think total time given for this was a 60 minutes only coding question was only 60 minutes and aptitude and all was remaining, I think 20 minutes, I guess. So total 80 minutes it was, I'm not exactly sure though. 
okay so this was uh, the first round so online round and then after the online round i think after two or three weeks i got an email saying that i have cleared this round and my technical interviews will be shortlisted and by the way uh, the i have got a really good uh, you know a, a positive vibe from red hat especially from the hr the managers and all the meeting that had happened before only so i have really got a very good vibe and i have and i have asked a lot of people about uh, the company work life and uh, the culture over there and all people are saying it is very positive so that's also a very important factor like doing internship even you cannot just say that it's just internship and doesn't matter like your work culture should be good over there and you should be able to uh, develop your you know new skills and uh, contribute to the fullest you can so that is also very important and one should not take internship also very lightly though that's what i felt because i have already done one internship in boeing so with slight experience i'm saying okay so that was uh, for the online round and uh, second one uh, the there were two technical interviews for me so technical interviews uh, first one was with a software engineer over there in uh, red hat okay so he was experienced person and uh, he asked me linux fundamentals python also like there was a time i forgot what is uh, list comprehension okay so in python actually i don't practice uh, you know dsa in python so i forgot what is list but i know i mean i know i didn't know the term exactly so that was kind of a nervous moment for me but then later on in a problem i used that only list comprehension so then he was like this is what i had asked you before so that was something and cs fundamentals were asked operating system questions you know you so on interview bit uh, and uh, many youtube channels are there gate smashers so you can watch that if you want or uh, you can just uh, see gfg there is that gfg course also many of my friends have taken gfg course cs fundamentals so you can do that like os dvms networks and that and medium level dsa was asked not that hard though you know on uh, i i guess the string one question was there and uh, algorithm you had to use so i can't reveal the exact question though so please don't ask that and project work was asked a lot actually what your previous experience your projects and uh, they were kind of impressed with my uh, projects and also in my past uh, internship i had worked on linux and uh, you know i had worked on a open source software only so in boeing it was a flight gear software which i have already told in my video where i got a pre placement offer so you can check that video if you want to know more so my internship also kind of helped me uh maybe my this round where in python and linux fund fundamentals didn't go that well because linux i just used it in the internship on daily basis i don't but still i had a kind of little anticipated that maybe linux also might be asked because red hat you know linux is there so and everything is going to be linux only so i had studied little bit about that you know you can take a this one two hour tutorial on uh, Uh, youtube only where they will tell about linux fundamentals i think that will be sufficient i don't think they expect you to know everything but you should be able to comprehend because then it will be easy for one to understand things faster so that's what i felt so this projects and uh, discussion round was very good for me i felt and they were kind of impressed with that and uh, all others were good only like it was not that hard also but lot of questions for on software development life cycle on virtualization so all these were also asked so that's all uh, yeah after these uh, two rounds uh, i was uh, i i got the offer and the hr contacted me and 6 uh, months i'll be starting internship so this was my experience with uh, red hat for internship so i would recommend everybody to i you know uh, take part in the interview process if you are able to get it if you are eligible so make a good resume and then you can apply and uh, i have already as i already told i have got a very positive vibe from the company 
and i really wish it will be a nice journey so that's all for this video i hope i was able to share something that may be beneficial to you in the future or to one of your friends or contacts so please share this video with all your friends as much as possible if you have not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel and uh, later on if i sit for more interviews or other uh, my friends sit for interviews i'll call them and uh, we will discuss something like a podcast so that's all for this video until the next video take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye